Once upon a time, scientist Thomas Young performed an experiment to figure out exactly what light is. Is it a wave or a particle? He made a contraption with two slits that allow light to pass through and shine onto a sheet. If we assume that light is a particle, then this is what we would expect to happen. Now if it were a wave, this is actually what would happen. Well, as it turns out, when you shine light through a single slit, it behaves very much like a particle of matter, only producing a single line. But when you use two slits, the proton begins to act like a wave. What could this mean? This experiment accidentally introduced us to the concept of a superposition. What is a superposition? A superposition is what happens when a single photon is fired at the slits and goes through one slit or the other, both of them, and neither of them, all at the same time. And the same experiment can be done with electrons in the place of photons. How is this possible? Well, let's explain. This is an electron. Hard to believe, but yes, it is an electron. And this is a fruit value measurement apparatus. It measures the fruit value for an electron. Electrons can only ever have two fruit values, either apple or orange. And this electron possesses the value apple. This is a heat measurement device. It measures the heat value of an electron, which is either hot or cold. And this electron possesses the value hot. So now we know that this electron possesses both the values apple and hot, right? Right? Well, it sounds right, but we wouldn't be real scientists if we didn't double check. And now, we see that this electron has always been an apple. Just, it's an apple and it's an orange. It's. Run it again. Run it again. I don't care what the numbers say. Okay, just, 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 just please. Run it again. I don't get it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Just kidding guys, so it turns out that whenever we run many, many electrons through a measurement box, say a fruit box, they come out of that box with a 50-50 chance of being either apple or orange. Now if you take all those oranges from that same group and put them back into a fruit box, then only oranges are ever going to come out ever. So you can try as you want, but you're not going to get an apple. But if you run them through a heat box, each electron possesses either the hot value or the cold value with a 50-50 chance. And then you can take all those cold electrons and then put them back into the fruit box, and the electrons that were all oranges will come back with a 50-50 chance of being either an apple or an orange. Now this tells us that when you measure one property of an electron, say, the heat property, the opposing property, the fruit property, is completely unknown. That when we know the heat value for an electron, the electron is either an apple, an orange, both an apple and an orange, and neither of the two fruits at the same time. The electron, when it is in a definite state of heat, is in a superposition of its fruit value.